This is about mindset. And right now you need to be open to change. Um, in all likelihood, in a lot of ways, we're not going to go back to the way it was before. Uh, you're going to find a lot of people prefer video conference buyer consultations and listing consultations. I know I would. Hi, this is Brian Eisenhower and um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, the importance of uh, conducting virtual meetings, especially in this environment that we're faced with right now uh, during the, uh, the separation and the isolation caused by the coronavirus. We're seeing a lot of people isolating, obviously, whether to keep themselves safe or just whether to comply with a governmental order. And uh, because of that, we are still able to do business as real estate agents. In fact, in a lot of ways, we can enhance our business. And a big part of that is getting very comfortable with video conferencing software. Most of our clients uh, at Eisenhower Coaching and Consulting um, across North America now, um, we're urging them, those that haven't, to switch over to a video conferencing software. Probably the most common one out there and the most popular is Zoom, Z-O-O-M. Um, so I'll talk in frame of Zoom since that's kind of a safe platform. Uh, we're familiar with it at ICC. We've been using Zoom for a very long time uh, for a number of reasons, for, uh, for webinars, for interstaff meetings, for uh, hosting masterminds online. And a lot of agents have used it for a while as well too. Um, for you know many reasons we've had agents you know lose using listing consultations and buyer consultations on zoom in fact the millennials the younger in age group typically love to do buyer consultations via zoom they don't want to come into an office things like that and it's a lot harder so we can move quickly if we can actually set a buyer consultation and conduct a buyer consultation over zoom conference so the fact that the coronavirus is causing us to do that now um, might be a good thing it might be a nudge in the right direction where we as agents can now learn how to embrace and increase the customer service that we provide to clients by being forcibly put in a position where we have to learn the software and get comfortable with it ourselves so uh, very important uh, that we embrace it now so buyer consultations listing consultations that's pretty much a no-brainer rather than meet you know at, you know in an office a certain day and time we now meet and send them a link to our video conference and then we then meet them and the neat thing about it is now we can share our screen with them and, and walk them through signing digital contracts while they're they're on the the zoom conference so that's kind of nice and it has made things a lot easier and I think that goes without saying um, if you haven't seen our video on how to conduct virtual showings I know that's probably one of the scariest things out there is how do we show property at this time uh, and quite frankly we're doing it uh, so business has not shut down because of the coronavirus because you can't get face to face with people um, there is a way to show property safely that you do not have to be face to face now um, and we can do that using Zoom technology and Zoom software as well too. And again, I, I don't own stock in Zoom uh, or anything like that. I, you know, I, I just really, you know, it's a, kind of a universal software that a lot of people use. So some sort of video con conferencing software is, is, is just fine. Just so you know, if you do use Zoom, it's free. Uh, if you want an upgraded package, it's like $14.99 a month. I doubt most of you in the real estate profession are gonna to need to get anything further upgraded than what Zoom provides for $14.99 a month. Maybe start with the free package and give it a try. I think you'll find that as long as your meetings don't go more than 40 minutes at a time, that's fine. If they start going past 40 minutes, then you probably need to get the $14.99 upgrade. At least do it through this spring and summer, through the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, couldn't hurt to give it a try and see if you can get comfortable with it. Now, <clears throat> the thing I really wanna to talk to you about is meetings, right? We, during this time, need to get increasingly close and in a face-to-face -face nature that only video conferencing can enable you to do uh, with both our clients and members of our teams. Like if you run a real estate team or you're on one, Usually you do have a team meeting, you know, often in the office together. Now it's time to really make sure, obviously, that we're not meeting together in the same office. We, we want to switch to video conferencing. But at the same time, I think we need to do it more frequently than once a week now. Same with our clients, right? You know, it's very, it's a very good practice to have a, a, to call all of your active sellers each week to keep them up to date. That's something we teach our agents to do. That way sellers are up to date. They feel like they're, they're in the know. They start to realize what the matter, what the market's doing. And if the property doesn't sell, they start to, they become aware that it's market conditions rather than your lack of effort because you are in constant communication with them. However, now I really think we want to increase the voltage, right? Now I don't think we just want to call. I would do video conferences with all of my sellers that are active every single week and including my sellers that are under contract. Same with my buyers that are active and my buyers are under contract. 
I would constantly be in video conference mode with them to stay engaged with them, to take their pulse, to make sure they feel connected to me and are moving forward. Same with all my active buyer leads that are that, that were in the pipeline going into this kind of cease work order or stay at home order, depending on where you live. And all my sellers, my active seller leads, I'd be trying to stay in, con in contact with them regularly via Zoom, which means you're gonna have to ed educate people. You're gonna have to email them a link on Zoom and tell them to click on it. You might have to tell them how to adjust their microphone and their video camera. Tell them to download the app on their phone, which is probably the easiest if they can do that, and tell them it's free, right? So we're gonna have to learn to educate and to teach both our clients and oftentimes other agents as well. So it's very important. The reason we do this is this. Let, let's talk about your active buyers and sellers or, or even leads. Understand that as this thing gets more and more serious and people are taking it more and more serious and the stock market is taking it more and more serious and employers, et cetera, et cetera, people's emotions and financial situations are changing day to day. Even though, I mean, people are, you know, families are forced to live together very, very close. So they, they are on a roller coaster ride of emotion. Most people are right now. Now we as agents, it's our job to stay the calming force, the positive presence that gives them up-to-date information, that dispels a lot of rumors. So that we're constantly in tune with their best interests, we need to communicate early and often, right? So consistently. So I would start to, to at least calling all these people once a week, right? And we're gonna do that with a video conference. We're gonna actually now reach out, send them links and tell them, hey, I just wanna touch base with you at least once a week this way. Make sure we see each other's faces. Um, tell them they don't need to dress up or anything like that. But it's something I would do. I would have a, you know, a place in your office, kind of like I do in my, I have a, I have a home office here. And if you watch any of our videos, um, I'm usually in this home office, right? I mean, it's easy for me. I have good lighting in here. You know, I have the screen behind me, all that kind of stuff where it's comfortable for me. I can actually sit down here and shoot video as quick as, you know, I make a telephone call. That's for sure. Um, I just need to be shaven, you know, and maybe have a collar shirt. Other than that, you know, it's pretty easy to shoot. Um, a, a really decent webcam that can give you high definition quality like this one is probably 80, 90 to hundred dollars max. Those could be ordered right now and at your house in about three days on Amazon. Things like that, simple, 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 simple. So this is not hard to do. You know, you can even do it from your phone, quite frankly. Most phones have such good resolution and audio right now, it's very, very easy. You don't need to get technical if you don't want to. But I think now is the time to embrace video. If you haven't yet, I mean, you're gonna have a lot of time on your hands here while we sit through this thing. So it's a wonderful time to kind of forcibly get used to it and start learning how to convert appointments to video, whether it be listing and buyer consultations, whether it be your regular team meetings. With regards to the team meetings, I, I think you know those are, those are scenarios where um, you might even wanna have a daily huddle with your team every single day, right? You know, even if it's a short one, like 15, 20 minute Zoom conference every single day to keep them close. They need to hear you. Members of your team, people are very uncertain right now. There's a lot of rumors circulating, a lot of fear circulating. So getting a calming voice from you, just so that they have a group outside of their own family, which is probably getting a little bit more maddening than usual with everybody living under the same roofs <laughs> uh, constantly with no outlet. So having that contact outside the home on a regular basis, just to kind of check in, make sure we're all talking about our transactions, talking about how the changes are happening with government regulation, check in with your people. And same with your clients, they're hearing a lot of stuff too. So when you see something new that shocks you, understand they're seeing something also. So checking in regularly and having a Zoom conference with all buyers, all sellers, all buyer leads, all listing leads, all buyers and sellers under contract, it's a weekly thing. It's a game of contacts in real estate. And we often talk about trying to reach out and generate leads, right? And that's something we can definitely still do during this time. And we've got lots of videos and, and, and training on that uh, that we're pumping out daily. But in this video, I really wanna talk about, let's talk about our clients that we have right now, right? And we can enhance our customer service. Because I'll tell you, if you're reaching out to all your people every single week with a video conference and updating them, that's better communication than 99.9% .9 of agents have without a coronavirus when they can meet in person, right? Usually agents are just out there talking, like answering the phone calls of their clients and solving their problems when they have a question. And that's really a low level of customer service, right? And I want you to think about that. But if you proactively set times, maybe the same even day and time roughly each week to meet with them, you're actually proactively scheduling and forcing communication with them. Because if we're always just responding to their questions, their needs, and their concerns, we're already behind. We're not gonna be considered a good customer service. Think about it. Think about it if you have a product or service and they're just there to receive your complaint or your issue. 
So all you do is call them when there's a problem. That gets frustrating to us as the consumer. We need to be meeting with them and, and forcibly co communicating with them so that we can be preventative so they don't have those questions or concerns or that they know they're going to speak to us this week anyway so that you're constantly prepping them for what's coming next or what just happened or telling them information that's going on in the world today before they know it. And that's good customer service. We're getting on offense. We're getting on our toes and the balls of our feet, not back on our heels. <laughs> I guess that's a little sports talk. We're really trying to get aggressive with our customer service. Uh, just because you answer your phone when your clients calls, that does not make you have good customer service. I don't care what silver you know, tongue you have and what you're able to say at that point in time. If you're just responsive, that's not a high level of customer service. If you have set meetings to stay advanced, to stay and to engage, that's customer service. If you are scheduling an increased amount of meetings with members of your team, maybe even your title officer, maybe even your lender, so that we're constantly in communication proactively, even if we've got nothing to say, we're checking in to make sure we've got nothing to say. We do those at set times on set days. I prefer with your immediate team, if you run a real estate team, that should probably be an everyday daily huddle right now, just to keep everybody calm, keep everybody in the know, and keep everybody up on their best practices, right? Um, so very, very important, very, very important. And I know this is a lot for a lot of you because it's really changing how you do business in a big, big way. And, and, um, and I think it's really important that we understand this is about mindset. And right now you need to be open to change. Um, in all likelihood, in a lot of ways, we're not gonna go back to the way it was before. Uh, you're gonna find a lot of people prefer video conference buyer consultations and listing consultations. I know I would, I, I, I just know myself. I, I like to move fast and I really don't feel like you need to be in my house, certainly on the buyer consultation side, right? I don't need to go to your office. Um, so I think getting, I think you're gonna see a lot of things like that, definitely. Virtual showings, um, we, we will probably do a lot more virtual showings in the future, especially with out of town buyers and sellers. Um, I, but I do think localized, we're gonna go back to showing in the property without a doubt. However, you're gonna see a lot more of them because people are gonna start getting very comfortable with virtual showings here uh, over this period of time. So understand all this change really, really fortifies a, a piece of mindset that I really want you to, to, to focus on right now. It's a mindset that professional race car drivers approach used to approach their craft with, right? And it's the concept that legends are made in the turns, not in the straight of ways, right? So a race car driver, if they're driving around a track, right, the straightaways where we're going really fast, it's really impossible to tell who's the better driver in the straightaway, right? You, may, you might have a slightly faster car, but you're just, you're just driving straight. Um, so it's really hard to tell, but it's in the turns, right? It's in those turns where great drivers distinguish themselves and show up and advance their position. So the turns are where we define our legacy. It's where, we sh where they show up and, 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 and write their own stories. So guys, welcome to the turn. This is the turn. When we have a we have a situation like this, it's a turn. You know, 2007, 8, 9, that was a turn. 2011, 9, or 2001, 9, 11, that was a turn. That's where the great ones move forward. You can see, you're right, we're gonna lose a lot of people in the industry right now because they're not gonna do well in the turns. You're gonna see a lot of people make excuses and jump into other businesses too because they're not gonna do well in the turns. You're gonna see a lot of people just blame and say it's this or I can't do anything. You know, The government said I can't and I'm just gonna go around and police all the other agents that shouldn't be showing property. Well, good luck with that. So let's not concern ourselves with how other agents are conducting their business right now. I don't, I don't think you're, I think right now let's focus on your business. We got enough, uh, enough change out there uh, so we can circle the wagons and, and just lead by our own example, right? Start embracing technology so we don't have to do face-to-face -face times when it's unsafe for our family or, or different, uh, different governmental uh, agencies aren't, aren't, you know, aren't allowing it anyway. Uh, let's focus on us, right? And the best thing we can do is embrace that change and you know, really embrace the turn. You know, we're, in, we're in that turn on that racetrack, um, so let's change and let's maneuver and let's get better and let's use this time to hone our skills and, uh, and sharpen our saws as real estate professionals. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I hope this helped you out and gave you some motivation uh, to move into video conferencing with a lot of aspects of your business uh, that you may have not thought about. Thanks, guys.